A passing of the torch during the second day of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, just a month after an unprecedented mid-campaign switch-up. 13 Wham's Carly Miner spoke with the Monroe County Clerk who is attending this year's convention for the first time in an exciting night there tonight, Carly. Yeah, good evening, Matt. Tonight, Democrats made it official nominating Vice President Kamala Harris as their presidential nominee. Delegates from Monroe County, part of the historic moment. It's a great feeling, especially when you're in an arena full of that same love and bringing that love of country back. 13 delegates from Monroe County are attending this week, including Monroe County Clerk Jamie Romeo, who is attending for the first time. It really is everybody talking about something different to contribute, a call to action, and it's all in a very moving togetherness feel of we all have something to do, we all have a role to play, and we can really move this forward nation together. A much anticipated and historic convention as President Joe Biden bowed out and endorsed his VP Kamala Harris. I will say that we were all elected to be here to support President Biden, and there has been no there has been no issues in us moving that support to President Vice President Harris. Um, there is so much enthusiasm and togetherness here. It, it's, it's really unlike anything I've been a part of. For Romeo, she says she wants to see Democratic leaders come together. There's love of country, love of each other, of our democratic process. We're all here because we care so much about our country and we all want to contribute to it. And it is such an overwhelming positive experience and so exhilarating. Former President Obama and Michelle addressing the crowd Tuesday evening. I think that, you know, Obama is an amazing speaker. I think he's really going to help us bring that together and us back in about how we can hope again. We, there are good days in the future. As for the rest of the week, Romeo says there is an A-list group of speakers and can't wait to bring the enthusiasm back to Monroe County. Matt?